Relationships, fashion, trends, and all things topical. She is the content queen. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Time to find out what Christy's blogging about on Fly 92.3. Christy, TimesUnionTimesUnion.com blog is on the eggs. The woman Hello. is Gustafson Barletti. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Christy. How are you today? Well, I'm good. I'm all fired up. Well, you, I loved it. I mean, I, I like when you get on and you get on your box, man. I like it. You telling people <laughs> what to do. That's what makes you you. It definitely does. And you know, there was a, there were a lot of things to get me up on that soapbox this week because there were so many sort of entertainment, pop culture things in the news, and in so many cases, people were apologizing or making unpopular choices, or at the very least, controversial choices. And one of them was the whole Jada Pinkett Smith, Will Smith, the Oscars, and you know, feeling like there's not enough diversity there. Right. So they're boycotting. And then the uh, was it the president of the Academy actually spoke out? Who I believe she's an African American woman, yes. right? Yeah. She, she apologized. Yeah, basically apologized. I mean, she didn't actually say the words "I'm sorry," but she essentially said, you know, she was frustrated and disheartened to see these results and that she'd like to see change. You know, it's interesting because there are times in life where obviously an apology is, is, is warranted and saying sorry does does a, a lot of good and, and does and goes a long way in terms of, uh, you know, creating a better understanding right, and, and, a more peace, and a more yep. peaceful existence. Mm-hmm. But then there are times where it feels like an apology is just expected, even if you don't believe in the apology, just because you feel like you've offended somebody. You don't have to apologize right. in life every single time you have an opinion that other people, like, right. isn't popular with other people. Is that what you were trying to sort of differentiate here? Yeah, and I think that we've gotten, you know, we've gotten even more into pushing people, celebrities and everyday people, into making apologies because of social media, you know, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You kind of can come out against people, so she could hear all this pressure and say, okay, well, I need to definitely say something because I'm, I'm hearing all these voices, or, or, you know, whether it was Zach Afron earlier in the week, you sort of come to the point where you feel like you have to wonder as a, as a viewer or a listener or someone who follows these people, how genuine is an apology when an apology is forced? Because it's not always necessary to apologize. An right. apology should be saved for when you genuinely screw up, either verbally or, you know, in your actions. Yeah, Christy, what were some of the examples that you cited? I know that you mentioned the woman who's the president of the, of the Academy. You just talked about Zac Efron. I know that Lights Camera Jackson, who apologized to Amy Schumer, he was... Uh, he was one of them as well, and there was one. There was one other one too, yeah, right? Well, yes, I um, Juliana Rancic. You know, my girl Juliana Rancic, when she had apologized to Zendaya uh, last year after making the comment about her dreadlocks. What did she say? Like her hair smells or something like that? She essentially said, I, I, "This is not the exact quote, but she basically said that because Zendaya had." dreads, she probably smelled like patchouli and weed. Oh, that's right. I What's forgot patchouli? about that. What's that? It's that patchouli, patchouli oil. oil, you know, that was oh. really big, like in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like the it's grunge the time scent. frame. Yeah, the grunge scent. And, and I think, but instead of her, that's a good example, instead of just apologizing once and saying, you know, Zendaya, I'm sorry, maybe my comment was out of line or I, I offended you, it was, I'm going to apologize on social media, then I'm going to apologize on television. Now I'm going to go on every interview I can right. possibly do and apologize. Whereas if she had apologized once, just like all these people, Mm -hmm. you apologize and move on rather than groveling and apologizing because you keep drawing attention to an apology. And I think this is in real life, too, not just with celebrities. And you just you you seem less genuine because it's like you're just fixated on the apology. And it turns into like a backtracking of sorts. And then then did you really mean it or not? And then, like Brian said before, then your opinion really didn't matter. So why did you say it in the first place if you're just going to backtrack? And then you start to wonder, is are we are we all controlled by the public in the sense that we say something and then the public and even if the public happens to be your colleagues or whatever. I demand an apology. And they demand an apology and then you just are guilted into it. And then how real Mm -hmm. is that apology? Apology. It's so difficult now with social media and the way people can attack you back, like and in, in, in tenfold in that, seconds, in too. seconds, and people get so people are so afraid. I mean, you know, I I respect people who have an opinion and aren't afraid to voice it, but those people are few and far between. Because we live in that we live in a society now, and 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 everybody, it's like Good Morning America. What's going to offend you today? Right. And I think there's a fi- there, there's a line between just blatant, blatant like ignorance and being um, being insensitive and, and just being mean spirited. Then there's the other people with opinions that just honestly 
have thoughts on things. Right. It and doesn't just because mean, you don't agree with them doesn't right. mean you have to apologize either. And, and so, I think that's perfect, Chrissy, because we've become the society of softies. I said this in my post, and you're, we're always looking for something to offend us. Okay. Rather than understanding we can disagree with someone, it's like, well, we have to be offended, and now we need to react. We need to act, act and react. Okay, hold that thought, Christy. We'll carry you for one more segment, because I'm curious your thoughts on on, uh, on Jackson Murphy, Lights, Lights Camera Jackson. Uh, also, the president of the Academy, um, and anybody else who's uh, who's had to say sorry, except Justin Bieber. <laughs> and Donald Trump. Doesn't apologize. Yes, exactly. Because right. he won't apologize. And also some of your reader comments, because it got very heated mm-hmm. uh, about the Oscars. And there's also an update to the Oscars and the boycott by Jada Pinkett Smith. Because Will Smith, you said, Christy, was he on the Today Show or Good Morning America he today? Good Morning America right before we came on air today. Okay, sorry to pull you away from that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, we're back with Christy Gustafson Barletti, Times Union, TimesUnion.com. Blog is on the edge. Stop. Stop apologizing. And it's, listen, you're not saying, Christy, that if uh, if people do something that, you know, that they, where they feel the need to apologize, to, 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 to not, not apologize, apologize then, right. you're just saying that the, 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 the culture is obsessed with people over apologizing. You know, one of the things I was taught early in my career was that you apologize and you move on, that you don't harp on it or you don't lament on it. And that also some things aren't, you don't need to apologize for them because when you do, you either seem like you're guilty all the time or you just seem like a total softy. But if you screw up, you absolutely should apologize and you should own it. So let's get to let's get to the two most prevalent stories yeah. of the week. The one was the uh, the president of the uh, the Academy Awards. I apologize for not of the Oscars. I apologize for not knowing her name. I think that she deserves the respect of, of at least knowing it. Um, and I and I don't have it in front of me right now. But she apologized that there wasn't as much diversity. People of color nominated for films now for the second year in a row. Did you feel like she owed the viewers of the you know the people who go to the movies, the actors and the actresses and the, the people surrounding the Oscars, do you feel like she owed them an apology? So her name is Cheryl Boone Isaacs, and she had said, I, I think she kind of got to the point of she's the president of the Academy, she's obviously involved and, and aware of the nominations, but there was such a backlash from, you know, the Will Smith and the George Clooney and the Spike Lees, so I think she felt almost the pressure that she had to say something, and so she didn't straight up apologize, but she said, I'm heartbroken and I'm frustrated the Oscar nods failed to recognize people of color, and I, I want to see change, and I want to help make change happen. How is it possible that th- th- this happened for two years in a row and under her watch? Like, don't you think that she would sort of be cultivating so- some more diversity, or they would be like, all right, just want to make sure everyone knows, for all the old white men that are voting, right. the president is watching. Well, and that's <laughs> the thing. If, if I feel like no if pulse? she was truly apologetic, there was the backlash last year, so then if there was going to be change, wouldn't there have been change over the last 365 right. days? That's a good point. But instead it was, oh, wow, the backlash is even louder this year. And oh, there are shoot, more it happened involved. again. I kind, of feel, right. I, I kind of feel like, and I don't know, maybe this is ignorance on my part, and, and maybe this is short-sightedness, but I feel like because there does seem to be some diversity on the Academy in terms of you know who's at the top and who's making the selections, Maybe they. Maybe it was a year where they truly felt like they just nominated the best people. Is that even like is is it so far beyond the realm of possibility? Do we always have to go to the race card? And I absolutely agree with you. And several readers said the same. It's you know that there comes a point where you think who's the most qualified, who's the best mm-hmm. person, who 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 delivered the most incredible performance. It doesn't matter if they're you know a black white or whatever, whatever their race or ethnicity may be. It comes down to who's the best. But, and I think you kind of water down the awards by not taking that approach. But that's not, you know, that's not how several people, several, I mean, thousands, tens of thousands, of more, more than that, people feel. They and the, don't agree. the other big story was this week was uh, Lights Camera Jackson, who yeah. offended Amy Schumer, the comedian, and then apologized a couple of times for his tweet. Yeah, he made, you know, he made a... Uh, I thought it was kind of a funny joke. I mean, he's young. He's a minor, so I can see how that might be offensive. He basically said, hey, you know what? I spent the night with Amy Schumer. Again, I'm paraphrasing, and he said, I'm not the first guy to do that, 
Well, she got very angry and essentially said that was really offensive and, you know, off base. And, and the thing is, this is a woman who's known for making jokes and had basically her entire act. Being About her sex her life. Yeah. Well, yeah. plus, I mean, yeah. she had just won an award for Trainwreck, which she even admitted is semi-autobiographical. Uh, mm-hmm. And in that, she plays a pot-smoking, promiscuous woman who can't hold a relationship down. And he and she had just won an award for that lesson, you know, which the, the, the he was same at, day. the award show. It was <laughs> incredible. It was so obvious that he was referring to her character. You know, and, and that's the thing. And then she decides to get feisty with him. And, and okay, she has every right to be offended. And I can see how she may have been offended. But then he came back and apologized. And then he apologized again. And he took down the tweet. And instead of owning it and saying, all right, you know what, maybe.